my session. I'm going to now talk about uh, uh, this uh, course that I've started into five sessions. Uh, we are going to move ahead and look at uh, 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 what are the books to refer to and uh, what is uh, the details on how we are going to uh, move ahead in this area. So uh, to complete this course, uh, we need uh, to look at uh, quantitative parts, programming, puzzles. Uh, in the quant part, we'll have a little bit of statistics, probability, brain teaser. In the programming part, we'll have a little bit of Excel, VBA, MATLAB, R, SAS, SQL revision, and the basic idea of, of course, uh, a lot of this depends on the different kind of uh, job roles that you are taking. So based on this, uh, we might uh, uh, take our things ahead. So the new idea that I have is a comparison of a few books and which uh, one would help you to uh, tackle some of uh, those things. Now uh, uh, I have arranged everything uh, in, uh, in the form where I have three zero level books to start with. Uh, and the few three level books uh, which uh, you can uh, move uh, and do at a later stage of your preparation. So uh, the three zero level books that uh, you want to start with is Wall's Guide to Advanced Financial and Quantitative Interviews, uh, uh, the Paul Dominic Guide and Starting a Career as a Wall Street Quant. So these are uh, the three books uh, uh, that you can do. So uh, uh, this one is uh, a little bigger and uh, this one is a very qualitative book. So uh, the Waltz Guide is uh, seems like a good uh, book to start with. So the Waltz Guide is a bo uh, good book to start with. Uh, uh, the other book that you can check is uh, this one, Career, Starting Career as a Wall Street Quant. So those are like the zero level books. Uh, they don't uh, require you to know uh, a lot of quant in, uh, uh, in, in the perspective, but uh, still that would help you. So uh, now we are going to look at uh, in details uh, about one of these books and talk about uh, what is there in this book. So when I uh, talk about this book, uh, I heard on the Wall Street and I am on the Amazon.com. Now this book has got a lot of uh, questions here. Uh, as uh, from what I believe, uh, this book uh, has a lot of questions here. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, pure quant and logical questions here. Uh, they have derivative pure fine but overall an easy book uh, but not uh, uh, too much about uh, those stochastic calculus uh, more about uh, the general thing that you want to see so heard on the wall street uh, what one good book to start with I, I take this book as a level one book so this is uh, uh, some of uh, uh, the links that I get so People have written a lot about that. Uh, these are some of the sections, uh, 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 some of the purely uh, logical questions. If you look at here on this business inside a .in website, I, I am on to it. It talks about how many elevators. Uh, uh, if you are between other in US, how many ping pong balls can you fit in a jumbo? Uh, and so on. The purely quantitative question is uh, what is the sum of integer from 1 to 100? A snail is climbing at it climbs 3 feet every day, it slides down by 1 feet when it is the top and so on. So in terms of uh, those trickier question, quiz types of question, uh, this is a good uh, book to uh, start with like heard on the Wall Street. Uh, 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 not exactly the kind of uh, programming and stochastic calculus for uh, those trickier roles but yes as an entry role uh, uh, just to clear the first two three rounds to get there uh, to make an impact this uh, book uh, is helpful 
so when i saw this book uh, the questions were like uh, 1. Point, uh, uh, x uh, 2. Point x 3. Point x and uh, based on different chapters the questions were easy it's a it's a good book to get started uh, there is not a lot of quant here and overall uh, an easier thing uh, to get it started uh, let's move to another book to understand like what uh, we could be having so a quick uh, point here uh, heard on the wall strip uh, around a 400 pages book uh, more of it is focused on finance and less into calculus now if, if you were to make a guess that you are going on a buy side firm uh, this is something that is more interesting you are going into some role that would require those very typical models like if you are going on some specific war calculation methodology where a lot of copulas would be involved because the buy side firms uh, would not uh, generally do those kind of uh, research they would uh, require more of the broad knowledge about each and every uh, part of the financial market so that you can take care of the entire portfolio whereas uh, those very specific jobs uh, would require uh, the specifics of C++ and the calculus so the other book uh, that I particularly like about is a practical guide to quant fair interviews. Uh, this book start with brain teaser and I had these uh, two question uh, uh, in, in, in personal experience and in interviews one like a person crossing uh, ahead with a lamp and things like that. Uh, another one of a brain teaser like you can switch on and off even and odd numbers or things like that or like uh, you can switch on and off prime numbers and things like that and what, how many zeros would be there in a uh, in hundred factorial and a lot of questions I found uh, really uh, in my life which when I did this book I found that out so I, I personally like the book the other thing that the book has is a, a deep stochastic calculus and again I found that I, I was asked some of the uh, black Scholes derivation part which which is given in this book so if I uh, if you are at a mid-level career then heard on the Wall Street is not very helpful if you are like crossing those first two barrier getting it at the end uh, then uh, this book is helpful for you so the zero level book is helpful uh, when uh, you expect the interviews are not that tricky and non-quantitative and non-programming uh, if, if it's really uh, uh, you're getting stuck at some uh, more typical mathematical I would recommend you to go to practical quite conference interview and just leave the skill so if you're having like three four years of experience into quant finance if you have cleared like CF and FRM exams uh, not from a quant background you are and you're facing those problems then probably this is uh, one right thing to uh, head so my personal uh, uh, likings goes to this book and, and I would uh, definitely uh, refer you to get this book for the interviews as this is a rich resource.